What is going on, everybody? It has been a while since I've done a video. Uh, I did get the job with TSA. Uh, I, I want to put that out there right now. And what I want to do for you today is I want to help you with the x-ray. That's something I knew nothing about going into uh, TSA. It's something that you learn on the job. However, it doesn't have to be because if you go to Google and you type in TSA x-ray, you can pull up all these x-ray images. But the problem is you don't really know what you're looking at. So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to tell you what you're looking at, what some of the colors are. Um, that way, when you go and take the CBT test and you're on the x-ray portion, you can pass it. Or you can feel more confident than you did, you know, prior to watching this video. So I'm going to list some of the photos and I'm going to describe what you're looking at and we'll go from there. So here we go. All right, guys, so our first source is going to be azbigmedia.com, and let me show you. So this is azbigmedia.com, and you can find this on Google as well. Uh, look up Introduction to TSA X-ray for Future Test Takers, and then scroll down, and you'll see this blue, black, green, orange, red, and um, this describes, represents each one of the colors in the X-ray. Blues and blacks. Blues and blacks are going to be something that you're going to see a lot of. Um, and blues and blacks are pretty simple. They are going to be your metals, your jewelry, batteries, wires, belt buckles, things of such, zippers. So you're going to see a lot of that in your x-ray image. So blues and blacks are important to take a look at and really gauge what they are. Um, your greens are going to be your inorganics. Those are going to be like less dense plastics, powders sometimes. Powders can be orange as well, depending if they're inorganic or organic. Um, and as it says here, blue and green can be put together. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Orange, orange, you're going to see a lot of. So orange is going to be your organics. Those are going to be your leathers, gels, rubber, um, water, food like peanuts, um, things like that. Red, I'm going to be honest with you, I have never seen red in an x-ray before. And even if you go to Google, you are very unlikely to find a red image in an x-ray. So moving on. So this is what your x-ray is going to look like, okay? And like I said, you can find all these images on Google just like I did. So there is one difference from what you see on Google and what TSA actually has. And the difference is that you have this view, which is a top view. You're looking down on the bag and then you have a side view as well. I don't have the side view, but that's okay. So. We were talking about the colors and we were talking about organics being orange, inorganics being green, blues being metals. So let's take a look at this image. I'm going to point out the obvious real quick. We have a gun. Everybody can see this gun. It's not always going to be that easy to see the gun though because you're going to have it at different angles. People try to hide it. It's going to be taken apart. So you got to be looking for the slide of the gun, magazines, ammunition, things like that. Like I told you, blues and blacks are going to be the metals. A lot of times you are going to see things like this in the background and you're going to be like, what is that? And over time, you'll see enough of it that you'll know exactly what it is right away. For example, the thing behind the gun is blue, yes, and it's big, it looks bad. That's a computer behind the gun. Um, and you don't have to know what everything in the bag is, and they'll tell you that in training as well. They say, you don't need to know everything in the bag, you need to look for the obvious. Um, really dark metals, um, things like that. Uh, really dark oranges. So, we pointed out the gun. Let's move on to other things in the bag. Taking a look up at the top left corner of the bag here, you got a shoe or a pair of shoes, I should say. So you have green and orange. I told you that green is inorganic and orange is organic. So greens it could be rubbers. It could be less dense plastic. Orange, 
you're gonna be looking at leather, things like that. You're gonna see a lot of this in your x-ray test. Uh, we already talked about the computer behind the gun. Let's focus on oranges. But before we do that, let's point out the obvious in this bag. In the top right corner, you have a knife. Everybody should have been able to see that. Now, going back to the oranges. What stands out the most to you in this image? It should be in the top left-hand corner. Why? Because it is the most dense. So all that is, is going to be perfume, clone of some sort. And the reason that it's so dense is because there is glass and then you have the liquid inside. So that makes it extremely dense as opposed to uh, a water or a wallet of some sort. The blue on top is going to be a metal cap for the clone. The reason that you would search this bag is not because of this, you would search the bag because of the knife. Over here, you have a pill bottle, a wallet, you got pins right here. These are all organic. These are going to be biological items. Uh, you have your glasses, they're gonna be blue, the frames are metal. Uh, you have a pin of some sort, zipper, so, it's very easy once you've been doing this for a little bit or if you practice online. So I encourage you to go online, look at these images and use the source that I gave you, AZ Big Media, to figure out what things are. All right guys, new bag for you. This looks really, really simple and it is. I'm showing this because I want you to see what different items look like. So here you have what might be a purse. You can see the outline of the purse. This is what water looks like. Okay, so this is a water bottle. It's orange, organic, it's a fluid. You have a real gun. This is metal, okay? And then you have a real machete or a knife and you can see the handle is orange, it's organic. It's made of some sort of plastic. You can see another metal piece right here and then an orange piece right here. This is gonna be a screwdriver. Here, this is, this is interesting. So uh, I would assume this is going to be a plastic gun. Remember, it's inorganic. It's gonna be a less dense plastic. Um, you can see the springs here. So this could be a 3D printed gun. This could be a toy gun. But uh, if you see something like this, you still want to pull or search this bag. Okay, uh, over here you have the metal again, then you have the handle. So you need to look outside of the blue. You need to look at the whole picture to figure out what it is. Obviously this is scissors. And um, let's move on to the next bag so I can show you some more things. So here's a new image for you. And as you can tell, it's already annotated up here. That is the reason you would search the bag. That is a pocket knife from a top view. That's not what I want to show you in this image though. What I want to explain to you is why there's so much orange and green here, uh, what everything is in the bag. So the reason that there is so much orange and green in the bag, and it's really light orange and light green, is because this is all closed in the bag. All of this right here is closed. And then this looks like uh, it could be a bag of some sort, this green outline, because I can see the plastic buckle right here. And then down here, I told you that shoes, the soles of the shoes typically are green. And you can see right here, this may alert you, but, but in most shoes, most boots, you will find these. You should not be alerted to those. This over here, this looks really dark and dense. However, if you look around, there's nothing attached to it. No clocks, it's not a bomb, it's not anything dangerous. All this is, is a charger. So this bag is pretty simple. The only thing in the bag that they found was a pocket knife. These bars right here, you're gonna see a lot of in bags. These are the handles that you pull on and you can pull. So those are gonna be the handlebars for the suitcase. 
Uh, up here are the wheels. Those are gonna be inorganic. So that's a little insight on that bag. Here is a new image. This one's unique. Okay, so let's start off with the obvious. You have the gun. We talked about the blue metals, and we talked about the shoes being orange and not to be alerted of this. However, this person with this bag is hiding a knife in his shoe. So I would annotate this, okay? I would annotate the gun. What's interesting about this bag is this. You have this, uh, and remember I told you, you have to look at the whole picture to, to figure out what things are. So you can see this here. This is a cap. This is a metal bottle or aluminum bottle. And inside is green. This is going to be some type of fluid, some aerosol of some sort. So this is an aerosol can. To the left of it is a really dense, dark orange, um, what could be C4, and then you have this wire and what I would assume as a detonator over here. So this, this is a no-go, this is a definite search, not only because you have a knife, a gun, but because of this right here, you know, it's, it, it, it looks extremely dangerous and could potentially be a bomb. I want to go over some items that people search that don't need to be searched. For example, down in the bottom right, a lot of people would be alerted to this image right here. And that's understandable because I was uh, whenever I started TSA. However, I learned the, the shape of this and I realized that this is an umbrella. So familiarize yourself with the shape of this, okay? And there are other types of umbrellas, but they are pretty much similar in structure. You can see all the different metal lines and things like that. Another item that people would be alerted to is the radio. The only time you really should be alerted to it is if you find something like this, this dark orange, inside of that. Then I would be alerted. As I had told you before, you're going to have a side view. So if something orange like this was underneath, you would be able to look at your side view and find out if maybe there's a water bottle underneath the radio or if there is some type of C4 or explosive inside of the radio. That's what your side views are good for. Here is another image of an umbrella and a very common image actually. So if you see something like this, I told you it has similar structure. You can see all the lines in it. Remember that these are umbrellas. This is nothing to worry about. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope it was informative. Now, I do want to say that when you go and take your test, uh, they're going to give you an image on the screen, kind of like I just did. They're going to give it to you for 30 seconds and then it's going to disappear. And you're going to have to decide whether or not you're going to search that bag or not. I'm really, really hoping that my video today helps you guys determine what items are because when I went in, I had no idea what the colors were. I had no idea what I was looking at. Let me know what you think of the video. If you have any questions, like I said, comment down below. Let me know. I'll be happy to answer anything you got. I wish you guys the best of luck in your CBT test and your future careers.